What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, No Credit. I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. Shakur Stevenson locked in for his cam. He has a fight coming up against Artem Huratayan. This is a guy who gave Frank Martin his toughest fight. A lot of people actually believe Frank Martin lost that fight against Artem her Italian. Shakur Stevenson is fighting this guy. Shakur Stevenson said he's going to show Frank Martin how to uh, uh, punish a guy or beat a guy in convincing fashion. You know, a lot of people was shitting on Shakur for his last performance against a solid fighter in Edwin De Los Santos. But a lot of people don't realize that Edwin De Los Santos is a solid fighter. This is a guy who handed El Rayo his first loss. El Rayo bounced back from his loss, and he knocked out Chris Colbert. So, Edwin De Los Santos is no bum. He stopped El Rayo, and he's stopping shit. He's not no bum. If he if he was a bum, why isn't Devin Heaney fighting him? Why isn't Javante fighting him? Right? Why don't they want to fight him and show Shakur uh, how to close the show? Instead, they want to clown Shakur. This is Shakur Regis Pro Grade Spar. I don't know how recent this is, though. But um, this is a picture of Regis and Shakur. But I remember Shakur doing an interview one time. And Shakur disrespected Regis. He said Regis was ass. I ain't like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, somebody else disrespected Regis, too. Uh I think it was uh what's his name richardson hitchens he said regis was butt too and he said everybody know regis was butt that's why devin picked them i'm like yo these dudes is wild but this is another picture which is a recent picture shakur putting in work with the pound for pound king terrence bud crawford guys man just sit down and think about it Crawford is going to 154. Shakur is at 135. He's 20 pounds smaller than Terrence Crawford. He's sparring the best fighter in all of boxing, right? 20 pounds smaller than this guy. If he's getting work from pound for pound, the best fighter in the world, that's 20 pounds bigger than him, right? Well, at least fights in their weight class 20 pounds bigger than him, right? How many people in the world can actually compete with somebody like that? Just sit down and think about it. If you get in work from a guy who's the best fighter in all of boxing and he's 20 plus pounds bigger than you, <coughs> there's not many people that can compete with you. Nobody else in boxing again that type of work. Who in boxing again is getting Terrence Crawford type of work? Look at Brian Norman Jr. He credit. His experience with Terrence Crawford on why he got that win over uh, uh, Centillion. He he said, because of that experience with Terrence Crawford is the reason why I got that WBO interim belt. <coughs> so what I'm seeing is Shakur Stevenson sparring Terrence Crawford. Man, that puts this kid on another level. I will never forget this interview from Shakur Stevenson where he talks about every time he spars Bud, his brain hurts because both of them got really high IQ. He says, every time I spar Bud, my freaking brain hurts because I'm always thinking of trying to land a punch. But then he takes that punch away from me. And then he tries to land a punch and I try to take that punch away from him. And then he switch it up and then I switch it up. And then he has another game plan. Then I got to ha have another game plan. And then I got to have two game plans. And then he has two game plans. He's ready for something I did a couple, couple minutes ago. Or sometimes he'll wait a while before he try to do a certain certain move. Like, it, my brain was hurting the whole time I was sparring Terrence Crawford. This is what Shakur Stevenson had to say. Man, that says a lot. And also, Shakur... Recently did an interview about Bud also. Shakur was like, <coughs> Bud is the best fighter I've ever been in the ring with. 
He said, I've been in the ring with Jerron Ennis. I've been in the ring with this guy. I've been in the ring with this guy. I've been in the ring with Jerron, um, Javante Davis. I've been in the ring with Devin Haney. I've been in the ring with everybody. But the best fighter I've ever been in the ring with was Terrence Bud Crawford. He's the complete fighter. He's the complete package. Shakur even went as far as saying Terrence Crawford beats Canelo Alvarez. That's how much praise he had for the man. He was like, Terrence Crawford beats Canelo Alvarez. I'm convinced. You can't, can't tell me. He said, I'm actually in the gym with Crawford, bro. I'm in the gym with Crawford. He beats Canelo Alvarez. I don't see Canelo Alvarez messing with Bud. He says, Bud knocks out heavyweights, light heavyweights, cruiserweights. He said, Bud is the best fighter he's ever seen. And he's ever been in a ring with. You know? And he sparred guys like ooh guys. He made easy work of ooh guys. I seen that sparring tape. Oogas, how do you let a 135-pound Shakur Stevenson make you look bad? Like, I, I'm not, I don't understand it. How do a 135-pound Shakur Stevenson embarrass Oogas like that? And some people were saying Oogas wasn't throwing punches hard. No, Oogas just couldn't touch Shakur. Throwing punches hard or not, you still got to hit. You still got to try to land something. He couldn't land nothing. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I spar smaller guys. I spar bigger guys. Just because a guy's smaller than me doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on him. I try to hit a dude. Ugas just couldn't hit Shakur. He just couldn't. Shakur made easy work of him. And Shakur said when he did hit him, he didn't have no power. And that's facts because Ugas don't have power. Ugas don't have power. You know, Shakur made easy work of Ugas. I was watching I was watching that sparring video with my mouth open, bro. And Shakur has a lot to prove going into this fight with Artem. I feel like he's going to punish this guy. And I feel like he's going to go in there trying to get a stoppage. I hope he gets the stoppage, too. You know, because boxing fans, they hate on Shakur. They saying Shakur got pillow fist his hand. He don't like to get hit. But Shakur be dropping shit, though. Majority of his fights, he's knocked these dudes down. You know, he knocked down uh, Yoshino. He knocked down Valdez. He be knocking dudes down, bro. He just he just hasn't been closing the show, but he been knocking dudes down. He, he, he beat up Jamel Heron. Like, come on. Shakur, really nice for real. People really sleeping on Shakur because... He not punching through shit, but y'all keep doing that. He, he going to sit down on his punches, and once he start punching through shit, then it's going to be a different story. I like the fact he ain't punching through stuff right now, and the reason why I like it is because then guys are going to be wanting to fight him. They're like, all right, we'll fight Shakur because he don't got no power. He can't hurt us. Yeah, he's sharp, but he can't really hurt us, so... I'd rather go 12 rounds with Shakur than get knocked out by Tank. That's how some guys feel when it comes to boxing. You know? I mean, it is what it is. But then some guys be like, I'd rather get knocked out by Tank than get embarrassed by Shakur. You know, people feel differently when it comes to the sport of boxing. And then, on top of getting knocked out by Tank, you get the biggest payday of your career. So, we'll see. We'll see, guys. But what do you guys think about Shakur getting quality work from the likes of Terrence Crawford, Regis Pro Grace? This kid's been in there with almost everybody. He's been in there with Terrence Crawford, Regis Pro Grace, Devin Haney, uh, Javante Davis, Richardson Hitchens, uh, Ray Ford. I mean, you name it. Shakur has been in the ring with all of them, you know. I mean, it is what it is. Well, Shakur has a fight coming up July 6th. He's fighting his hometown. I bet it's going to be a sellout. That's what uh, Jerron Ennis should have been doing fighting in Philly. Jerron Ennis would have been a bigger name than he is right now. Shakur is getting a lot of clout from fighting in the city. But Jerron Ennis is getting his first fight in the city at the Wells Fargo Center. Against Cody Crowley. What Eddie Hearn should do? Put a billboard all over the city of Jerron and his face. 
all over Philadelphia. Then we gonna know who Jerron Ennis is. But everybody in Newark, they know who Shakur Stevenson is. Anyways, your boy, no credit. I'm out.